Crit, draw, greatsword. Nothing flashy, nothing crazy, no ginormous numbers, but one of the most tried and true, reliable, effective builds in Monster Hunter history. As soon as Greatsword got the ability to charge their attacks, well, that draw charge style was born and has flourished ever since. Praise be to the patron saint of this mighty weapon. Gotcha, bitch! But it was not all to be roses and sunshine because Rise killed Crit Draw, which killed the Crit Draw Greatsword. But hope has been sown anew in Sunbreak because Crit Draw has been not so much reborn. It's like if the, the corpse of Crit Draw in Rise has been sort of resurrected as a shambling zombie, so it's technically moving now, but it's still kind of falling apart. It got buffed to 60%, which, yes, is enough at least to viably do crit draw because it means we no longer need crit eye to reach 100%. We can just combine crit draw with weakness exploit, which is a very effective way to reach 100% affinity. So, this has always been very requested by you guys, so I will present to you then the most effective, best, highest damage crit draw greatsword build possible in current Sunbreak. The good news is the future potential for this thing is absolutely sky high. The bad news is, while it's very effective right now, you kind of need a god charm to really make it pop, but you don't need a god charm to do it to begin with. The thing is, this build, this playstyle is always so safe. It is by far and away, in my opinion, the easiest way to kill any hard monster. Run up, draw attack, roll away, sheaf, leave, repeat. It is effective and it is reliable, as I said at the very start. And especially against afflicted monsters this time around, it works really well because you were essentially just draw snipe each afflicted part for that pop of damage and then knock them out of afflicted mode and jobs are good and it's a really good way to systematically dismantle any afflicted monster that you're struggling with. And of course because you are constantly charging the first attack of the greatsword charge combo you still want to be using strong arm because if you are going to get interrupted well you can counter it and still get damage and it's kind of this more natural hybrid playstyle where you're aiming for constant crit draws but you do have the backup of strong arm and the full charged combo on a downed monster. It's also nice to just be playing with focus again. And lastly then there is of course one new skill in Sunbreak that really helps crit draw greatsword out and that is Grinder S. Because when you sharpen and gain two colours back, you get a near 10% damage boost to your attacks for 90 seconds, we can combine that with just how good the Ibushi Greatsword is at 340 purple straight down to blue and have the perfect crit draw weapon because we nicely can time the flow so that we do 20 crit draws sharpen, 20 crit draws sharpen and maintain this potent buff without having to put extra thought into managing sharpness. So that's really, really nice, and um, there you have our weapon of choice. It really is perfect for this. I will, of course, show you a more generic, normal build crit draw greatsword if you just want a standard one that doesn't rely on grinder, but we'll get to that in the end. For now, we have our weapon. Here is our armor set. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. So, as you can see, it is very Guys Magorm heavy, and that's all well and good, as they are very, very effective pieces. Malzano Gloves and Rathalos Waist is what accompanies it, and now is when I give you the bad news that, yes, you want at least a two grinder talisman in order to make this work. The best I have is two grinder and a one slot, which isn't really that great, honestly. With a better talisman, you could have all three grinder, get the 90 seconds, you could finish a lot more offensive skills, and generally this is why I'm saying the ceiling for this playstyle is actually really incredibly high. But if you don't have a talisman that is two grinder and then anything, 
then if you want to play Grit Draw, go for the more generic build that I will show you towards the end of this that's still very good, but just not as good. In any case, then, uh, we decorate it up and end up looking like this. We have ourselves full attack, almost full resentment, the crit boost that is lovely. Focus, of course, very much required at the speed of monsters to get those crit draws off. The crit draw in question, two weakness exploit, taking us to 90%. The third rank, there isn't space for it, and also it will overcap us by 10%, and it's better to be under by 10% than over 10% in terms of, you know, effective use of your decoration space. Though, of course, if there was one extra slot just thrown in here, you would finish weakness exploit first and foremost. So if your talisman was two grinder and a two slot, yeah, whack a weakness exploit in there. In any case, then, this comes together to let you hit very, very hard. This is the kind of damage that we're looking at with uh, this set. 1,200 crit draw hits on our dummy, which is nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> and then if we have Grinder actually activate, well, we see it spike up to over 1,300, and then get our power sheaf on as well, and we start slamming down for 1,400 plus crit draws, which is incredibly good. Compare that to the standard best greatsword build that I have shown you that is just the current best greatsword build in the game, mathematically speaking, and you see it really does beat it by a hefty margin, and that's really, really cool to see. So, how much damage are we actually ending up with here? Let's take you through it. 340 on the Ibushi Greatsword. We add 10 for Attack 7, 20 for Resentment 4, 25 for Dereliction 1, the sweet spot of Dereliction for Raw, which takes us to 395. Our multipliers then look like this. Attack Grinder, a 10% boost each. Of course, Purple Sharpness, and then 90% Affinity with your 3 boost, all coming together for 900. 3 EFR, which is Nutty Goo Bananas, yes, indeed. That is a really solid, hefty amount of damage to be hitting with, and even without Grinder on, it still very much is effective. Yes, still use your strong arm, yes, still go the full true charge if the monster is down, and go for this sort of woven hybrid playstyle, and you will be having a great time. So, for those of you that don't want Grinder or don't have the Talisman, this is what your best build looks like. I won't you with the mass on this one, it comes out at 870, so yeah, 32 less than the grinder, though the grinder build does come under this while grinder isn't active, so if you don't think you can maintain grinderness, then use this one instead and you'll have, well, similarly awesome results. And again, this is why the future potential of crit draw is massive here, when we get more comfortable ways to access grinder and more comfortable ways to maintain its uptime, we'll end up with something very, very special. For now then, this is it, your answer to the best crit draw greatsword build in Sunbreak, and if it is indeed possible. The answer is yes, there is still a hefty amount of the usual playstyle to weave in for maximum effectiveness, but it does feel good to just draw snipe monsters to death, especially those afflicted. For now then, like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, and consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. Until we meet again, a good boy. <laughs> Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye